eating chicken feet in Mexico City. Mmm, that's delicious and disgusting. <laughs> What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman of David's Been Here in Mexico City. I'm in the Santa Maria neighborhood with my girl, Mariel De Viaje. She's a local from Mexico City, she's a travel blogger, and we're in her old neighborhood. Yes, it's my neighborhood. Welcome, David. Thank you, thank you. So, what is this neighborhood about? Okay, this neighborhood is very popular in Mexico, very traditional. It's one of the most important neighborhoods because in the city, many important people uh, came here and okay there are many restaurants bars many different bars like in Mexico is Cantina Cantina okay Cantina when you could taste the pulque the pulque is one of the most traditional drinks, uh, drinks. And the food is delicious too. There are many kind of food, international food, local food, traditional food. For example, this place is Mercado Morisco and there are many different locals when you could taste many kind of food. So the neighborhood in general is very, very nice. Perfect, yeah, so this, this is like a little market in a way. A lot of different vendors. We're gonna go in here first, try some craft beer. I'm all about craft beer. Then we're gonna go eat. Let's go inside. Comida mexicana. <laughs> Uno que se llama salsa santa. Es mexicano mexicano. So you're watching her at work. That's how she works. <laughs> salud, 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 salud. Wow. I got a dark imperial IPA. Delicious. 7.5 percent alcohol. This is good. So. We got two beers, we got mezcal, we got a sope right here. Sope looks out of control, it's like a little pizza in a way. It has a, a little pizza. It looks like a little pizza, you know? <laughs> so it has like a, a masa, like a corn mass. Yes, uh, blue corn. Blue corn. Yes. Then what else is here? We have cheese, we have like a red sauce, como tomates, so tomatoes, right? Yeah. We got, I think, sour cream, we have cheese. Chorizo. Oh, chorizo's in here too? Yes, okay. it's chorizo. So, te ayuda. Te ayuda, te ayuda, te ayuda, so it helps you. Chorizo, tomato, cheese, cecina, enchilada. This looks bomb. And then we have to start this meal with a little mezcal. Get this. A ver, the best combination is... Yeah, right. Yeah, right? <laughs> this mezcal is from Oaxaca. Oh, from Oaxaca, okay. Very popular and delicious too. Well, well don't, don't hog it. <laughs> <laughs> le ayuda. Le ayuda, le ayuda. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna bite into it. If it has chorizo, I'm game. That's one of my favorite things in the world. Oh, and it looks so delicious. <sighs> It has like a pizza taste. <laughs> yes? Yeah, because you put the tomato sauce with cheese, then you have to eat so it's like a meat, you know? Yes. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> mm. I love this bread, very thin. This is a delicious dish. I never heard of this in my life. Well, it's, you're not you're not eating, you're not eating mine. <laughs> <laughs> For David, this, this is uh, the little pizza, so okay, here we go. Perfect music, is it? Mm. Delicious? Mm. Delicious, yes. You can find these sopes in many corners of the city. And it's very similar flavor that you could find with the people that sold in in the corner. So it's very nice. So it basically tastes just like the street food version. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this is the sope. I'll just jump you on can this. Try yes. Mm. Oh, and the onions. Oh, delicious. And the chorizo. I love how they dice the chorizo up. Yes. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, the mole is chocolate. Okay. With salsa. With chili. So this chocolate with, with salsa. With different kind of chili. Okay. So it's hot, spicy. Yes. Oh my god. Just like a, a thick 
dark chocolate. It smells amazing. Corto circuito seguro. <laughs> it's amazing, she said. <laughs> Saying just like jump in it. Oh, that's amazing. That, yeah, it's like woo, a lot of things in there. So what I taste is a lot of chilies. It said 37 ingredients of so chilies with chocolate. And there are many oh. kinds of mole. Oh, there are? Green mole. Okay. Yes, black mole and red mole. Cheers again, cheers. Thank you. Cheers. cheers. Thank you for the great day. It's been awesome. Cheers, baby. And with the mole here. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers. <laughs> so, where are we going? Where are we going now? Okay, we are going to uh, Paris um, Cantina. A cantina? It's a bar, very okay. special bar. Okay. Uh, because they have many histories about the neighborhood. Okay. So it's a very historical bar. Total. You could know the traditional cantina of Mexico here in Paris. And it's in a corner very near of you. And it's called Paris. Yes. Okay. Called Paris. Paris. So we're going to drink more. <laughs> <laughs> it started the rain. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they dancing? It's closed? It's closed, right? Yes, it's closed. So what is this, do you know? Okay, this is one of the most important kiosks in Mexico City. Or for me, it's the most beautiful. The style is Islamic. For this reason, it's very, very special. And you can see many details in all the structure. I like it very much. Okay, this is the cantina, the Paris cantina, the bar. We made it here to Cantina Salon Paris. This is one of the oldest cantinas in Mexico City. We're having some tequila, and uh, you were telling me a fact about this place that it's the first place that one of the most famous musicians in Mexico sang. Yeah, it's Jose Alfredo Jimenez. Okay. Uh, sang here for the first time. So it's one of the most important cantinas in all Mexico for that reason because, because Jose Alfredo, of yes, because, and yes. And if you came, please. You have to bring tequila and this one is sangrita. Sangrita, so is sangria? Sangria, yeah. Okay, so how do we do it? Drink and drink? Yeah, no, first the sangria okay. and then the tequila. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, it's a good mix. <laughs> I would just put this into it. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier. Very good mix. Yeah, right? Yes. No, that's great. Like? I love this. Yeah. A Bloody Mary. <laughs> Bloody Mary. Yeah, yeah. It's Bloody Mary. Yes, yes. Like like this. So just like. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh, these are chicharrones, and this is traditional salsa, common salsa. And you put a lot of salsa in the chicharrones. Chicharron, basically pork rinds. This is so good. I eat this a lot in Miami because we have a huge Cuban population that okay. loves this. Crunchy, savory, with a hot sauce. Ahí está. So hot sauce? Entrale, mijito. Mmm. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, not too hot. No. It's like a, just a salsa. Take that away from me. It's addictive. <laughs> it's so addictive. <laughs> oh, this is so good, though. ¿Qué quieres poner? ¿Qué te gusta? Drake. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, when you come to a cantina, you go to the karaoke. And you choose uh, your favorite song. You choose your favorite song, okay. Yeah, for example, bachata, alternative, balada, banda, bolero, cumbia. <laughs> 10 pesos. Woo! You're done? A mi tierra mexicana. Canto de la fregada. If you don't follow her, unsubscribe to me. <laughs> Mexico lindo y querido, si muero lejos de ti. Tequila shots, pork rinds, and now where are we headed? Okay, I love the patitas. It's the chicken legs. And uh, in Mexico, in many corners, sold the patitas. It's right? chicken feet, it's chicken feet. I'm an addict, really. You eat this a lot? Yes. I 
Gracias, amigo. Sí, te amo. ¿Por qué no te descubrí antes? ¿Qué? 30, man. 30? 30. We're gonna eat some chicken feet. I've never eaten chicken feet before, but I've seen people eat it. And it looks like there's a lot of gelatin. So some type of sopa inside there. Okay, it's like a soup. Oh, it smells great. <laughs> chicken feet? You have, yes. Mm, the mm. taste is amazing, David. Mm. What do you think, David? I mean, it's amazing. It's, it's like, it's gelatin. Oh my God. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Tua, Tua, ah! Oh! Me quemé. Mi perdición comer patitas de pollo. No inventen, esto es, es de los mejores sabores que ustedes van a poder probar en toda su vida. Esto es sabor, esto es sabor. Oh, my turn. Dive back into it. Mmm. <laughs> They're so good though. I think the best part about this is the, the little spice. Mm -hmm. That come on. Yes. Very different. Mmm. And the mix of the flavor, I don't know what you think, but I mean, for me it's, it's very good. So what are we eating? We're eating fat and cartilage? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Do you like? Mmm. Yeah. I've never eaten it and I love it. <laughs> Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. He loves the patitas. David loves the patitas. <laughs> I say, I've eaten some weird things in the world, but this is one of the most interesting, <laughs> and it's really delicious. Like, delicious. Gotta try it. And uh, this is the queen of the chicken feet. The chicken feet. La reina. La reina. <laughs> La reina. Merecen una oportunidad de parte de todos ustedes. Okay, we are going to other bar. Another bar? Other bar. Pulqueria. <laughs> Pulqueria. <laughs> Pulqueria. Muy sucedia. Chicken feet, done. Pulqueria, next. We are in the Malquerida. It's a pulqueria. In Mexico, we say the pulcata. And here we <laughs> will taste the pulque. Pulque is a traditional beverage, alcoholic beverage. Uh, it's a fermented, fermented beverage uh, that is pre-Hispanic. Uh, it was called the drink of the gods. In the, at the heart of the maguey, there is some uh, sweet uh, agua, some uh, that is called agua miel, like aqua honey. The man that makes the pulque, right, sucks <laughs> literally from the plant the, this juice and put it in a jar and then he start fermented the, this drink until it's alcoholic and then you drink it and it has a like a slimy texture. It's natural. David, this is natural and this is the most traditional. This is, it's for you. It's different. Half of it's like water and the other half is very slimy. Oh, it's good. Cheers. Cheers, dude. Ancestral smoothies, man. Yeah, this is the drink of the gods. <laughs> the drink of the gods. Hello, cheers. cheers. I like it very much, the vodka. It's very good right there. It's a thick drink. It's thick. <laughs> nice, cheers. I like this one, but I love Cuba. <laughs> 15 pesos for the natural one, and 25 for the ones that are like with fruit, fruit flavors. Yeah. Dude, it's cold, it's cold. Yep. Okay. Tacos. Sweet tacos. You know, it, it feels like it's late, but it's only like eight at night. <laughs> We made it to our last spot. We're gonna eat some tacos, uh, La Califa. For me, the best is costilla and gaonera. Gaonera is a very sweet part to the meat, and I love the flavor. So, come on, baby, come on. So, I got costillas, which is ribs. She got gaonera. 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 What is that? Gaonera is a part of the, of the cow. meat, of the cow, yeah. Okay. And this is a costilla. 
So that's mine? I love the gaunera. I'm gonna put a little bit of red sauce, a little bit of green sauce, green is spicier, a little bit of lemon. Woo! Go for it. We got two amazing tacos right here. Same thing. They're both costillas. Ooh, they're hot. Mmm. The sea salt is so good in this. This red salsa just like, ooh, first the flavor. Mmm. Now I'm going for the green salsa. This is the real heat. Mmm. When your lips start tingling, you know it's hot. <laughs> oh my god. Basically, it's a piece of rib with no bone inside a taco. Then they mix it in with some salsas. You put some lemon, and you just eat. Taco heaven. <laughs> oh my god. Mucho. How's yours? Yours is the what? Costilla. First gaunera. Yeah, that's the only thing with the costilla is that it's very chewy. As you can see, like I was trying to put everything in my mouth. So I couldn't I couldn't rip it apart. But it's one of the best tacos I've had ever. Because it's such a big piece of meat. My costilla tacos cost 66 pesos, which is basically two dollars. And her guy gauneira. Carneda is 52 pesos, so it's a dollar seventy, something like that. Very I hope you love this video. It was an amazing tour of Santa Maria neighborhood. Thank you again <laughs> for everything. David. Uh, follow Mariel de Viaje. And your stomach is okay? My stomach's okay, yeah. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Bye. Maybe later I'll feel bad. <laughs> Uh, but the chicken feet was like the standout the for me. Feet. <laughs> chicken feet and, and uh, pulque. Yeah, this after the chicken feet was the pulque. pulque yeah, yeah, so the pulque, oh, top notch. So guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See you tomorrow in Mexico.